Welcome, Oleg. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, Chica. I'm fine. How are you? Good. Oleg, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I've gotten, um, you know, in my career, I've traveled a lot using your products and things. And a lot of people ask me questions about, you know, my setup and mouthpiece, reed, saxophone model, etc. And so I'm going to ask some questions of my own, new ones I have for you, but I'm going to ask most of them from some of the people that ask me questions about what you do, all right? So um, let's say maybe we should start from the questions related to the products you make that are solving the problems most single reed, saxophone, and clarinet players experience. So let me start with a question I frequently get. This one, dear Chico, I have had many different brands and styles of ligatures I used through my playing years and honestly found no noticeable distinction between them. I spent lots of money buying newest, the latest and most expensive ligatures as well as cheap ones I had in my junk drawer and felt very disappointed every time. Would you please ask Oleg why I had an incredible wow reaction after trying the old ligature that, I, that you recommended? So tell us Oleg, please. Okay, um, I get the same questions uh, all the time from different uh, musicians, students, even teachers. Uh, there is a lot of confusion about the ligatures. And uh, before invention of the uh, ligature, there was no understanding of the true ligature's role in the saxophone sound, in, uh, in the pitch tendencies, in a, a response. Uh, power. Uh, many musicians don't uh, ha would have a problems with the reeds or attribute the acoustical problems uh, and sound problems to the saxophone itself or to the particular uh, instrument, particular brand, or even to the nature of the saxophone. Um, although musicians felt there is a ligature matters. Nobody knew or could quantify uh, the effect of the ligature and the sound. There's uh, at least 300 patterns, the last time I searched, were created and uh, filed uh, for a different type of the ligatures. All of them are uh, claiming the same th thing like a special way of holding the uh, ligature or minimizing the ligature's effect uh, or uh, ligature's pressure on the reed. <clears throat> but uh, after invention of the ligature, the process that took me uh, 10 years, um, all of a sudden, the, all of the questions I had about the ligature's effect become clear. Some of the saxophone tendencies, uh, pitch tendencies, uh, octaves inconsistencies, some interval inconsistencies, some uh, per, um, pesky notes like a D's and the A's and the second octave, uh, A, C sharps and bottom response, all of a sudden <clears throat> uh, become clear that this is the effect of the ligature. We are the first company that ever uh, put the ligature in a spectrum analyzer. And the picture was clear that all the ligatures, no matter what brand, no matter what material, uh, all of them are virtually the same. And actually, the, uh, they are dampening a sound in the same pattern. Uh, so our our ligature, uh, it's, um, the material allows the reed vibrate freely. Uh, it's, our ligature preserves the reed's natural vibrational modes and uh, its uh, harmonic complexity. So our ligature allows the response peaks uh, the resonance peaks to be where the pitch is, which means you don't you can play the um, saxophone without any 
humoring every note without uh, just simply like uh, exhaling to the saxophone and saxophone would lock you in uh, where's, uh, in your best sound and your best pitch. Uh, so I would even say that if you do not use the optimal setup, like a saxophone that is in tune, the ligature that allows the read vibrate and produce a, um, the uh, maximum resonances, uh, no musician would uh, actually know his best sound. It, uh, so equipment is important to realize a musician's full potential. Uh, so I would say no other ligatures except the ligature uh, give a full representation of the musician's sound. Mm. Uh, I would agree with that. I um, uh, was traveling uh, with a band of mine called Roots and Benny Golson who's a very close friend of mine and we're in the, this band together. And Benny, I noticed when we were going on the road, cause I used the old ligature and I noticed that Benny also had the old ligature. So we were on the stage together and I looked over and I said, oh, Benny, you're using this old ligature. You got it from Ola. He said, yeah. I said, how do you find it? So we had a great good discussion about that. And we compared our horns together in terms of intonation and pitch and, and free blowing. And we both agreed that that, what you just said uh, was accurate and true. So thank you, because <laughs> Benny is one of the uh, one of the great saxophone, great saxophonists in the history of jazz. 